All right, open season. All right, in the top left, playing Tenry, we have Spodius. And in the bottom right, also playing Tenry, we have Sneaky Dragon. <laughs> nice, uh, nice taste, I guess. <laughs> Good commander picks for this map. <laughs> I like Tenry a lot here, yeah. Body is going for a very um, aggressive capture phase here. Um, so this capture phase does what the advantages are that it gets you maybe a little bit more income, but it also like kind of delays the enemy commander from reaching the front line because they're hitting your villagers instead. Yeah, that's also something I considered when I was a. <laughs> it's like, do you go back to the old like opening traps? just to prevent the new rushes. <laughs> Both players did like getting their rifle out pretty late. Although I mean Spodius is pretty standard, but Sneaky is gonna take at least one more turn, I think. You could be trying to break it open with a dog and sword this turn. Yeah, actually, that's what he goes for. So All, right. Go for All right, it works. And Sneaky preserving the rifle crit here. That's a nice uh, uh, little No, detail. he reloaded last turn, actually. Oh, he did? Oh, never mind then. <laughs> okay, Spot is going to get the rifle out first. Moves the sword into, a, I guess, like a kind of aggressive posture? Yeah, Tenry, like... This dragon is affecting uh, Spadius' position right now right. because he couldn't hit from the left or he would have been uh, punished with the dragon. Right, and now it stops Spadius from actually going to hit that, chaining into that center village. Uh, Spadius going to go in with this knight crit, uh, do, does some nice damage, but I'm not sure if there's a good follow-up to this. I mean, there is a rifle there. Um, at the back. Oh, but Spodius goes in with the commander anyway. Oh, this this looks really unsafe for Spodius actually. Oh well, I this guess might not. be dangerous. Yeah. Although Tenry can still escape because like nothing he can, can cover escape. the right side. He can't escape, but he it feels like Spodius will just be pushed back a lot now, like a lot. Yeah, he's so far away from his army. The dragon is probably just going to keep running and hitting Tenry for a few turns. Because the rifle is zoning the mage away from that part of the map. Yep. Alright, we're seeing a nice dog crit to not take damage when decamping the village after the night hit. Yeah, that's a really nice detail. Um... It's something you can do with two dogs. Like something I'll see is people use two dogs to kill a sword, but actually they could just not attack with the first dog and then use the dog crit to take it out, and then you don't take the counter attack damage. Anyway, Nikki going for a huge attack here. Yeah, that's a lot of Get pressure on the stronghold. He gets Groove and he and he readies a Knight Crit onto the HQ. So this is kind of scary for Spartius. But Spartius does a good job of, I think, trying to mitigate the HQ push without like over committing into it. And now he also has Groove. But Tenry looks really isolated on the left side of the map, on the right side of the map again. Sneaky is going for lethal here. Yeah, Sneaky could like... Sneaky has some plays like grooving some units towards the right side. I think I mean... Night Crit is probably the... Yeah, he's gonna go for the Night Crit. Nice. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Sneaky that with a very... Uh... Yeah, he gets groove first and, you know, just pulls the trigger. He has a dragon in range and he just follows up with a Night Crit. I think that really shows like why it's difficult to play against Tenry because Tenry's group is very flexible in what it allows you to do. You have a lot of different options on the turn that you decide to use it. Also, it has so much range. 
and it's, yeah, and it's hard to play around, and you can use it safely. And Sneaky Dragon makes it to the top four of Groove of War. So in this third game, congratulations. Now has to go on and face Shu, which I'm sure he's very happy about. <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations to Sneaky. Spotty has put up a good fight. Uh, definitely one of the stronger players of this event and isn't out yet. You know, we've still got those fifth through eighth place matches. So, yeah, we're going to see a bit more from Spotty as yet.